Now that our tests are running in GitHub Actions, let's add more visibility into the process using the Cypress dashboard. You can sign up for a free account at dashboard.cypress.io. After your account is created and you've logged in, you will need to create your first project. For the project name, I am going to use to do MVC, but you can call it whatever you want. For the CI providers, check GitHub Actions. You will then be presented with the project ID and record key. We will store the project ID in our cypress.json file and the record key as a GitHub secret. Now copy the record key and head over to your forked version of the to-do MVC repo. To store a record key as a GitHub secret, click on settings at the top. Then click on secrets in the left sidebar. Click new repository secret. For the name, enter Cypress record key. For the value, paste in the Cypress record key from the Cypress dashboard. Then click add secret. Now that we've added our record key, we can use it as an environment variable within our workflow config. First, we will need to use the env directive. Make sure this is indented equal with the with directive just above. Next, we will add our record key variable and GitHub token. We also want to use our GitHub token as this lets the Cypress dashboard correctly determine the unique run ID necessary to rerun the checks. This token is provided for us by GitHub. We do not have to store this in our secrets. Just in case you were wondering, the reason why we are using environment variables is to protect our sensitive keys from being exposed to the public. You don't ever want to check in sensitive keys into your repo. Finally, we need to update our config with record true, as this enables recording within our workflow so that our test results will be recorded in the Cypress dashboard. Now that our config file has been updated, I'm going to push up a small change off camera to trigger our new workflow. So as you can see, our workflow is completed and all of our tests are passing. Now that we've integrated our repo with the dashboard, we can easily navigate to our project within the dashboard by clicking this link that is output at the end of our Cypress run action. The dashboard lets us know that all of our 28 tests have passed. We can also drill into the specific details of our tests by clicking on the test results tab. After clicking on a test, we can see a ton of useful information regarding this specific test. We can even watch a video of the test running. Currently, all of our tests are passing, which is exactly what we want. However, what happens when you have tests that fail? Off camera, I'm going to modify some of the tests so that they fail. This way we can see how easy it is to debug using the Cypress dashboard. As you can see, three of my tests are failing. Let's check out the Cypress dashboard to find out why they failed. We can see all of the failed tests listed below. Let's inspect one of them to see what data the dashboard provides for debugging. The dashboard records screenshots taken at the point of failure and also captures a video that shows us exactly when things went wrong. You can also see the assertion error in the exact line of code that failed. The dashboard also provides a link that will take you to the exact line of code that failed within your GitHub repo. We also provide you with the test definition. This lets you know the context in which the test was run. This kind of insight into our tests makes it incredibly easy to debug our code. I am only scratching the surface of what is possible in the dashboard, but as you can see, it is incredibly powerful. Make sure to check out our docs to find out more info on the features and functionality available.